Are you ready? <laughs> Was there a problem? The seamstress should have gone over how to dress yourself. <sighs> you are allowed to ask the staff for help. That is what they are there for. <sighs> the bulk is necessary for your training. As you become more adept with your magic, the easier it will be to manoeuvre through harsher conditions. It will feel much less bulky if you can naturally lift the weight using the wind. But until then, there will be some discomfort. Well, I wouldn't be so cruel as to put you through needless discomfort. The weight has a purpose. Having you pass out in the heat does not. So, any training clothes you wear will have to be infused with ice magic from now on. I need you to pay attention during your lessons. The sandstorms do not quell themselves, and one more day with fewer hands to hold them back affects the well-being of the entire kingdom. So, it is important that you are provided with the optimal setting for learning. So know that we have everything you need to be successful. Here is your first lesson for today. You have resources available to you to make sure you are prepared on time. Use them. Will there be any issues tomorrow? Excellent. There is nothing to feel guilt over. This is a learning experience, just like any other. But know that I expect for any mistakes to be taken care of, so that we don't see them happen again. Good. Now for your daily lessons. Come this way. Before we begin, how much education have you received up until now? Hmm. Mm hmm. Regardless, I assume you can read and do basic mathematics based on your previous line of work, correct? Hmm. That should be sufficient. But we can determine if you will be needing any supplemental education in addition to your required lessons. Well, naturally, I will be the one in charge of them. There are no private tutors in this palace that have nearly as much experience with the art as I do. It would be an even greater waste of time if I went through standard lessons at the scheduled pace with you falling behind. If you are not grasping a concept well enough, I will spend extra time with you on that day. That means cutting into your leisure time. But your studies come first. Yes, today we will cover magic categories and some interactions. Then we will work on applications of wind magic with some training exercises. Once you have basic control, we can then move on to refinement. Yes, I'm sure we would all like to believe that much of the basic understanding of magic is common knowledge, but that is unfortunately not the case. There is a reason why the palace is in a constant state of hiring. <sighs> Competence can be quite hard to come by. It's why I've decided to take matters into my own hands. Yes, you are indeed the first and only apprentice I have taken on. Our usual hires go through a separate application process. The position is competitive and typically requires certification through the Royal Academy. <laughs> His Majesty the King would sooner commit to a life of celibacy than hand a single prized student of the Academia over to me. Better to ruin the future prospects of a commoner than to waste the coffers of nobility. <sighs> Nobles want esteemed tutors who have made a name for themselves for their brats. Those who do have a good reputation are those endorsed by his majesty. And when you don't exist to him, you don't exist to the nobility. <laughs> His Majesty may be aware of you, but that does not mean he will acknowledge you. <sighs> Sit 
some things could go without being acknowledged. But when His Majesty wishes to bring your attention to something, trust that it will be paraded in front of you whether you like it or not. And he will make it very clear that it is reserved only for him. Unfortunately for him, I take zero interest in those whose entire existence revolves around acting as decor until they're needed to warm a bed for a few hours. Honestly, the gift of wind magic is wasted on them. <laughs> More chances at having wind mages added to the family. Or at least that's the excuse that he likes to give. <laughs> Keep your eyes straight forward. There is no point in indulging his majesty's fragile ego. <laughs> Maybe knowing those five or so loose threads they call robes have been drenched in more than sweat will make them less appealing to you. Be grateful that your robes actually function as clothing should. Any ideas of wearing anything remotely similar should be left to your imagination. You are not meant to be gawked upon. Then take this as your second lesson. Learn to look away every time we pass through to get to the study. It won't be for long. The room is close by. After you. One less distraction. All right. First, let's go over the magical categories. How familiar are you with them? Yes, elemental magic is the most basic of magic categories, hence its commonality. Wind is one of several that exists and is vital for protecting the kingdom from sandstorms. Water mages keep the desert habitable and ensure our supply is purified for safe drinking. Fire is versatile in that it is used for cooking, smithing and keeping warm during the night. Ice, by contrast, is used for keeping cool during the day and the preservation of food. Earth magic is used for building and tilling soil. Lightning generates power for utilities. Light provides means of seeing at night, and dark provides shade from the sun. All elements serve a purpose and act as the foundation for civilization. There are two other categories of magic that are much less commonly seen, but are nonetheless important in the development of a society. The first is natural magic, which harnesses the power of the natural order. Animal mages are the primary hunter-gatherers. Only the best are able to provide high-quality meat to the palace. Time can be slowed or accelerated to extend a person's lifespan by ways of buying time for medical help to arrive or speeding up the process of wound healing. Space makes travel easier by creating connecting warping points, and cultivation can be used in conjunction with the elements to grow crops. Lastly, the most rare magic category is creation, which takes nature's gifts and transforms them. They are what elevate a society to its greatest potential. Whilst music can be played or sung by anyone, the gift of music magic can allow the bearer to control the mind. It can be used to rally those around you or make others do your bidding. It can be dangerous if left in the wrong hands, but luckily there are not many natural users in existence. Machine magic is what provides us with our utilities. While we still need lightning for power, machine magic provides the basis for technological advances. But unfortunately, due to its rarity, much of what we can accomplish with technology is still in its infancy. We only have two in our service at the moment, so progress has been fairly slow. Finally, apothecary magic is the basis for medical care. 
They produce medicine much faster than an average medical practitioner, which is why many medical students will opt to learn apothecary magic during their studies at the Royal Academy. You are at a greater disadvantage without it, and competition for positions within hospitals can be fierce. So, you either need to be born with the gift, or dedicate your time to developing a second magic. Have you all that written down? Hmm. Any questions before I move on? Let me answer that with a question of my own. Why haven't you learned a second magic? Exactly. If it were so simple, all magic would be commonplace. It can take years to develop the skills to use magic that we are not naturally gifted with. It is much easier to use what we have and work around our limitations. Tell that to someone who would rather spend their days in a workshop developing products that would make them enough money to set them up for life than actually go out socialising. Those who have wealth often have fewer children than those who do not. When you have the resources you need to live, you have fewer incentives to want more children. Hmm. Something to think about in the future. For now, you are here to study. I don't expect you to learn a second magic. Our only focus is on honing your natural affinity for wind. If you do wish to develop a new magic, do so in your free time, though I wouldn't recommend it until you have mastered the element of wind. Well, it's best to avoid any extra strain. Mastering one magic can take quite a bit of energy, and I would rather you focus what you have on what is most important. But if you feel you can handle working on two at a time, don't let me stop you. I personally have no need for other magic. Wind is what defines royal status. It's best to maintain that, so the needs of the kingdom are met. Any other questions? Hmm. Yes. Any and all magic can be disordered. That is why we are careful when we go through our applicants. Every position in the palace requires proficiency in magic. If you are unable to properly use it, then tasks cannot be completed, and our system falls apart. We discussed a few before, if you can recall. For example, if you were born with disordered wind magic, you would have trouble breathing. A light or dark mage may be born blind. Each magic has their own conditions associated with them if they are disordered. <laughs> I suppose if a machine mage were disordered, they'd be very bad at maths. But I've yet to see it for myself. <laughs> Any other questions before we move on? The only thing that you will be tested on is how well you can apply your magic to a real-life situation. But knowing what magic exists helps us understand their function on their own. Once you understand how they interact, you can determine the best way to deal with any given situation. Well, it is your job as a future protector of the kingdom to know how wind reacts with other magic. You do have to be careful to not cause more harm than good. Wind can push elements back, but it can also spread them. My lack of control can turn rain into a whirlpool, or the flame of a candle into a forest fire. But before you can test interactions, you are expected to master wind in its purest state. So today we will begin with a simple wind flow and work our way up from there. Now watch carefully and repeat after me. 